Welcome guys, and it is time for Movie Gist, and I am very excited today. Why? Because we had to unplug somebody from inside of East Flash and bring them here. They are not going to be present today on their show, and we're not sorry about it. Kath, you are welcome. Yay! Good to see you here. Well, what is that? What? What's that? It's the wave, the royal wave. Sorry. <laughs> so I was Lady Kath first, and I also became Queen Kath, so okay. royalty all the way. Sorry, I'm very sorry. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it hurts you though. All right, let us do entertainment. Fantastic having you here. We can go back and forth, uh, back and forth with these yaps, but let's let's leave that for after. So um, let's talk about uh, Haley Bieber, and it's been revealed that she was briefly hospitalized and treated for a brain condition after she recently suffered a major health scare. And she also discloses this. Uh, she discloses on her Instagram page where she stated that she had a blood clot in her brain and experienced symptoms similar to that of a stroke. Initially, however, I did think that they said it was something close to a COVID-19 uh, diagnosis. I'm not too sure about that. Perhaps I got that wrong. Okay, so the thing is, uh, most people concluded that it was related to COVID-19 because her husband, Justin Bieber, mm -hmm. just uh, last week mm. recovered from COVID-19. He mm. tested positive last month. So he just recovered and then he had to cancel like four of his concerts mm. because of that. So... They were having breakfast, and then she suddenly started feeling some type of way. Mm. They had to rush her to the hospital. After all the tests and everything, they found out that she had blood clots oh, in her head. Yeah. So that actually led to stroke-like symptoms, and she went through a lot. And according to sources, Justin was always by her side. And then he also went online to say that she was always there in his darkest time, uh -huh. so he's not ready to lose her. Oh, wow, that's so sweet. I never saw them as quite the couple that were going to go the long haul. Exactly, you because know, so people didn't is... even think they were going to last yeah. this long, and it's been yeah. three years and counting. Well, let's not jinx it. It might still go all right, because, I mean, mm. hey, you can see, we have two stories about that. We'll, we'll get to that. You guys are going to see in perhaps <laughs> maybe... Yeah, let's not do that. In any case, um, what is it like waking up and then, boom, you've been awarded a piece of land? Well, it might be a dream to you, but it's not a dream to uh, Mr. David O. <clears throat> because his father has just given him, on his birthday, I, th I think, landed property in the exclusive area of Banana Island once again. And that's uh, something that we all wish we had. The music star made this known via Twitter uh, on Sunday, March 13th. He said, woke up to another land from Pops in Banana Island again. Such a dope father. I love you, Pops. Makes you feel like, um, what did my father do? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, if you know your parents, you know the limits that they can get yeah. to. And you know what they can do and what they've done for you. Then you won't even think about this. Mm. Though sometimes you might second guess, mommy, daddy, where's my plot of land? Ah. But at other times you just be like, I love you guys, all of that. And, you know, he celebrated his birthday. There was a lot of drama with uh, him raising money mm -hmm. and then giving money to orphanages. And all of that is gone. So I guess his father wanted all that to calm down. Before and then, you know, that moment when you think that there's no birthday gift for you. And then you just wake up and I'm like... Okay, <laughs> and then he's also decided to give this to his kids because he's saying that he's going to build something amazing on that plot of land for his kids. Yeah. So obviously he's dedicated it to them and we could see them at his concert where they were having fun, their mothers were cheering them on. What's your take on the concert, by the way? Uh, well, it was cool. Mm. That's all I can say. It was That's cool. All, I think you have other things that you want to say, but you're not going to say That's all yet. I can say it's right now. <laughs> hey, I'm a David O fan. Let's leave it like that. But yeah, congratulations cool. to him. I mean, hey, uh, if you can give me just one square meter of that piece of land, I'll be grateful. But it's all good. <laughs> now, have you been hearing about the whole Cora uh, uh, issue uh, with her husband? Yeah, Cora First of him coming online and telling that he's getting a divorce. And then I think um, only just yesterday night, she put up something on social media, appreciating people for their concern and all. And from what she was saying, and you could see that she is troubled. And um, I don't know about you, but there's so many of these issues that are happening right now with entertainers or people inside of the entertainment industry that is making you feel, making me feel like, yeah, is there a problem with the entertainment industry or is this just something general that perhaps Instagram is making, you know, popular? Okay, so the thing with celebrities on social media is once you bring your life online, mm -hmm. once you bring your relationship online, You've declared it a public relationship. Mm -hmm. Your fans would say you can't say you're private anymore because yeah. you put it out there. 
So the fact that you started this whole thing in the public eye, that whatever is happening is our business. Whatever you put in a public space is everyone's business. So mm. don't ask for privacy. So I believe that uh, according to what her husband, Dr. Justin Dean, said, that guy. he said he had to come online to say he had troubles in his marriage. So that by well, the why time... Why did he have to come online, however? According to him, their relationship is an online relationship. And then he had to take the rain by the owns. Because uh -huh. at the end of the day, I take the bull by the owns. Because if Cora, according to him, went online first, mm -hmm. she has many fans. She has people that will sympathize Wait, with her. Wait, hang on a second. She and didn't go online, did she? she no, hasn't she yet. didn't. She, she hasn't. So he went online because he wanted to, as you say, take the bulls by the horn. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that created some sort of, like, even a bigger rift? Well, I would... I think that uh, was provocative. So I would like to say this in two ways, because I've spoken to a couple of people. One school of thought is of the opinion that he did good by coming online mm -hmm. and by revealing it, because if Cora had come online first, nobody wants to listen to him, and they won't believe anything he says. And that school of thought is that, okay, things are going fine, and then you suddenly, boom, you come mm -hmm. up online, and then you're coming up with all of this, and then later you're apologizing, saying, okay, the kids are yours, the, che the cheating allegation is not true, but every other thing is true. In the same breath, I'm going to plug in the story of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Kanye West only just recently oh. telling again that he is fed up and still not with the whole idea of his daughter um, not being on TikTok. Kim's refusal to take her off of TikTok or involve her in her TikToking would seem like some sort of antagonism, if you ask me. This whole online thing, since we're on that subject, personally, I think that's a father's cry for help, even with all the mental issues he's going through. But real quick, what do you think? What I think about that, well, I believe uh, Kanye is right to be concerned for his daughter, because mm. uh, in the past we could see his daughter go live on TikTok, running around the house. Immediately mm -hmm. her mom noticed she yeah. was chasing around the house. And then we've uh, also seen her daughter do a couple of things on TikTok. The TikTok account was open for Kim but this and is not. But it's under supervision, but not, isn't it? Exactly. It's supposed to be under supervision of her mom. Uh -huh. But behind her mom's back, she goes online, she does videos. And then this particular video was done with her mom and her cousin, uh -huh. Penelope. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Kai is really concerned because he's like, there are some things that an eight-year-old should not do. Mm -hmm. An eight-year-old should not be exposed to. In the same vein, um, Kanye recently stated on social media, again, yet again, mm -hmm. that he wasn't allowed to see his kids. And Kim has come online to say he should stop putting out that narrative because he sees his kids. And then the other morning, he was still, the morning he put out all that, he was still there to pick his kids for school. Yeah, exactly. So how do you pick your kids for and school in the morning? And kids. then before so noon, you I say guess you don't see we them. We are only hearing what they want us to hear exactly. and see. So I think we should just take a back seat and not really get too involved and let them handle their business. Yeah, let's for all the celebrities the out there, including you, Ubi Franklin, and everybody else, <laughs> we please beg you guys, can you just entertain or rather take care of your issues in the confines of your four walls and not bring it out in public? Because it becomes messier. And then what I'm going that. to advise people out there Real is quick. just sit tight and watch the drama. Let it unfold. Because yeah, at the end involved. of the day, the truth always comes out. Booyah. Well, thank you very much, Lady Kath, Queen Kath. What else do you got? Queen Kath, hey, you don't want to know. <laughs> I could go on and on and on. Okay, so I'm Lady Kath, her real hotness. Queen Kath, her real hotness. Kit Kath. Kitty, I've been Kata, threatened Kata, here. Kata, Kata, that, yes, Should I go on? Not East Flash. <laughs> oh, Benny, please, can you leave? Is what Mr. Mike is telling me here. <laughs> Mary, Mary, please come and take your sister. <laughs>